Let's check in on our hospitals and the situation on the ground now that public transportation is being made looser in NCR. To answer our questions, we have Dr. Bernadette Velasco, Operations Manager at One Hospital Command Center. Good evening, Dr. Velasco. Hi, good evening, Sir Rofi, and good evening, Ma'am Gretchen. Mm, uh, Dr. Velasco, if we if we take the the traffic nowadays boosting capacity in public transport to up to 100%, are we expecting this to pay? Are we expecting another surge because of this? And mm -hmm. can hospitals manage? Yeah, right now in the One Hospital Command Center, we're currently monitoring the number of beds available for COVID and non-COVID based cases. So we're checking on the utilization rate of each hospital. Of course, we're focusing now in NCR. Um, right now that the transportation is open at 100%, of course, we're expecting a lot of exposure if ever there is a one passenger that has, that has the virus. So we're expecting um, an increase in the number of cases if they will not follow the, the minimum health protocols. At least they, they wear a mask inside the, in, inside the public vehicle. But Dr. Velasco, other than bed capacity, what about the other resources? We're coming out, we know, with some shortages in some medicine, tocilizumab, for example, and then kumustang oxygen, and most importantly, manpower. Do we have everything yeah. in place? Yeah, so we're maintaining the number of healthcare workers that are currently deployed in each institution. So, and also we're monitoring the number of medicines and even the oxygen supply. We're also monitoring on that. And then we have a steady supply of the medicines for COVID-19. Okay, maraming salamat po. That was Dr. Bernadette Velasco of the One Hospital Command Center.